Welcome back to another episode of the Careful Boys here featuring Hot Seat with Mr. Ryan Anime, oh! everybody. Wait, no, there's only one way to do Hot Seat. You didn't even fucking prep us with the Hot Seat. What the hell is That's Hot Seat? Daddy, 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 what up. is this? Stand up. Sugar tits. It's a new oh, segment yeah. sponsored by T-Mobile. <laughs> this is really sponsored? Yeah, it's by T-Mobile. By, by fucking Game yeah, of Thrones, Thrones, bro. Oh, clearly by T-Mobile. Yeah, dude. Sponsored by Disney, bro. <laughs> yeah. We fucking leveled up. Wow. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Sponsored wow. by Game of Thrones. No, we just like getting a little Built cool. by the mayor of Monterey Park. I don't know what's gonna happen. So if you guys are new to Hot Seat, what we do is it, it, the seat starts kind of cold and cool. Oh. We ask questions to get to know you, and then we start turning up the heat, and then we get to know you a little bit better. And it gets hotter. <laughs> that's when you turn up the heat, dude. <laughs> yep. yeah, that's a knob. Go ahead, Barn. Barn's got the best gold question. Barn has the best questions. Like, yes, hey, what's your cold. least favorite race? <laughs> <laughs> Go. NASCAR. <laughs> well done. <laughs> well done. That was really good. Right, I'll start with a cool question. Yeah. What's your five year plan? <laughs> five year plan? Why are you laughing at me? Why are you whispering at me? You <laughs> fucking court jester. My five year plan. Damn, that's a. F Big ass question. I, I know one thing I want to do in five years. You get mollied? I want to get my car back. <gasps> Where is it? I had to sell. I had to. I the had DeLorean? 70, no, I had a 79 Camaro that uh, <gasps> it got flagged for smog. Oh, fuck California. I know, bro. it's fucked up. So they made me uh, get rid of it. So I sold it to a dude in Arizona and I just someday want to get it back. The oh. exact car? I would love to get. Or any 79 Camaro. Or just something close, but. I mean, like a '99 Camaro. <laughs> I think I can help yeah. you with that. Astro van, you know, next best thing. You don't want the same car. You don't want to hit up the same guy and be like, "Yo, you want to sell it back to me?" I would love to. Yeah, but then I don't know how I'm gonna keep it here. I'll, I know how. Yeah. I'll tell you how after. Oh, yep. Shit. Oh fuck. I mean, wait it's, a minute. See, Hot seat for Joe. Wait, what are you, what are you talking about? Dude? Joe's our smog guy. <laughs> That's your like I know certain places. Yeah, I was cheating smog for like 10 years and then, but the, the sad part, it's like the cops in my freaking neighborhood know. Yeah. Uh, so that they see me in it again, the dude is like, if I even see you with this, he knows I've been what? skirting around the, yeah, it's like one of those shits. You gotta stop doing donuts in your neighborhood, That's bro. That's the sad part is I was just going like, I was going normal down the road. Normal the donuts? Hater ass bitch. <laughs> it felt like I was like, you know, one of those like old movies where someone's in the south and like open the hood, boy. It was like one of them shits. Aww. I was like, damn. In Hollywood too. Damn, yeah, it was Hollywood. Freaking. Yeah. Yeah, if you had a Prius, it'd be like, let him gas. <laughs> <laughs> it changes the cop. Yeah, the cops are different over there. <laughs> yeah. Prius, what's that's... this gas guzzler doing here? <laughs> In five years, I don't have very deep plans, but that's one thing I, I still have on my mind. Just gay let's, bar. Let's rewind like, a bit. The whole episode by itself, by the way. Let's go with your Hollywood cop uh, character. Yeah, sponsored by T-Mobile. <laughs> yeah. Sponsored by the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Hollywood. He's his own superhero. <laughs> let's rewind a bit for those who don't know who you are. You basically um, came into this world as a quest member. <laughs> Into this world of entertainment, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dance crew. Dance crew. Where you guys won the America's Best Dance Crew. And Kinjas was number two, right? Yeah. But then, like, we're not talking about Kinjas today. We're talking about Quest Sorry. today. Yeah, we're not talking about number two Kinjas today. We're talking about number one doing? Quest. Into this dream of becoming a dancer, a Quest Dance member. For dance, very simply, I was going to community college, uh, Cypress College. Hey, yo. And then... I honestly, we would just see all these girls walk to the um, other side of the campus like at the end of the day all the time. We're like, wow, there's girls going back there. And then we went and it was like a dance class. And then uh, me and Eris were like, yo, let's join this fucking class and all the girls are here. Who was teaching like, it? Just like these random faculty like dancers that were, I mean, they were just like, I don't know. They're, they're like just a little bit older than us, the teachers. And then uh, I signed up for like everything, like for modern, for, for uh, Jazz and oh, hip hop because wow. I just wanted to be around like these are like the hottest girls in the community college. Wow. Yeah, that's really toxic, actually. And then I remembered I once it started, like I had this mission to like get to know all these girls. And then I was like, yo, the actual class is pretty fun. So you started falling out yeah. with the dads more than the girls. Yeah, it literally, we were just like, yo, did we forget the fucking mission here? And then we just fell in love with just. Wait, you? So you never danced story? until college? I I started. I was breaking like in high school, like, but just watching fucking Soul Train, like nothing serious, like from 16. Wow. But then I never, I never took a dance class until 20. I think 20, yeah, 20, 21. Could you do windmills before in high yeah. school? Flares? Yeah, I, but it took me two years because I 
Usually, I think it takes people like a few months to learn windmills. It took me two years. Damn, you kept at it. Uh, what, yeah, what's, what's a wind? Wrong for like what's a windmill, friends? You go like this, and then you 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 are here, oh. and then it rolls off your shoulder. And you, your legs are like a windmill, like this. Yeah. Dude, they showed me a video of you. Like jumping on your own fucking Dude, head. You landing on your head. That shit was crazy. <laughs> I want to. I want to turn that into an NFT one day. I want to. Oh, I want to do turn the last time I do it into an NFT. Why don't you do it right now? Literally. No, don't do lunch. it anymore. Don't risk <laughs> it. <laughs> Dude, how did that feel when you landed? Not that? here, at least. I did it. That one started as an accident because uh, it was like a common, sort of common move to do it like this and just bounce like a back handspring. Yeah. And then um, it was. Uh, what was it all? All you see. All you see was the name of this one like competition where it was all the UC schools going against oh, each other. The, the Chinese associations from like USC, UCLA, UCI, and stuff like that. Chinese dance crew? He was there. And it was like 2005. I went there to do an exhibition uh, show with my crew at the time called Six Step. And I was practicing that move. You, you just go bounce on your head and then you stand like super quick. And then uh, there's a girl I was trying to date and she was there. All women motivated. Okay. Yeah, and I was just like, yo, I'm going to kill it. It was fucking Cheryl, <laughs> and then, I, <laughs> and then uh, I went to do that move, and it was at Union Station where the the floor is pretty slippery. It's like that tile shit. So I slipped, and I just went <clears throat> like that, and then everyone went yo, <laughs> and then I just like uh, I stuck it, and I remember I, I made eye contact with her, and I was just like. <laughs> you're like you had a whole neck like, boner. Ooh. Yeah. And then, and then I, That's a movie moment where you're like, Dude. oh my god, I can't believe oh. I did it. And you didn't even break your neck. Did you get the kiss, bro? Did you get the kiss? Wait, did she like you after that? Is that yeah, yeah, we dated. Uh, like I had a very toxic relationship after that. And then I fucking. It's so funny when guys are like, she's my fucking trophy, and then you get her, and you're like, oh, I don't even want you this never anymore. Want, I never want to get the girl that way. So after I came up from it, people were like, yo, you did that new that move, and I was like. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was working on that. Like, <laughs> when you talked to her, was she like, "Nice moves"? Yeah, yeah. it was like the stereotypical stupid shit. Like, <laughs> meanwhile, he's got like blood coming down. He's yeah. like, meanwhile, my brain cells are all like, don't even fucking know my name. But yeah, that's that's how I came up with that. And then I started trying to do it on purpose that way because I was like, oh, it didn't feel like much. Because Anthony told us the backstory, and we were all amazed about. It. I forgot what show it was. But so you think you can dance? So you think you can dance? Oh. And you were about to be eliminated or something, and then that was your clutch final moment. And before that, you yeah. weren't able to hit it, and you fucking landed it, yeah, and you stuck. Was, it. Right? was that like an elimination round type thing where you had to solo out of nowhere, and then you fucking stuck the shit out of that? Yeah, that's that's one of the best sticks I ever had of that shit. But yeah. I wasn't bragging about you. I'm, I'm not a fan. That's of wild, man. That's a fucking neck breaking move. Yeah, that shit. But it's funny because I've never had one thing go wrong from that. Oh my god. Ever. Like out of the hundreds and hundreds. I worked a fucking uh, show in Malaysia. I got on this like one job where I had to perform at this mall like five times a day. And they would specifically ask me to do that over and over. Oh my and I must have did them maybe 40 times a day or some shit. Nothing happened? Shit. Nothing happened. Nothing. You got a thick neck, bro. But then I went up for a layup, rolled my ankle. <laughs> shit like that. That's the kind of person I am. He's like, yeah, I don't know how to read anymore, though. <laughs> <laughs> so I forgot. <laughs> just, just, yeah, it's just gone now. <laughs> my ability to read. You gotta keep reading, I heard. <laughs> but I've got, I had brain damage from other moves. Like, like what? From this other one that like, it's just like a, you ever seen the Party Rock Anthem music video with LMFAO? What do you it call that move, by the way? It's almost like you're trying a failed backflip. It's it's just a gigantic like leap of faith onto your like small yes. of your back. It's the seen, Party Rock I've Anthem where everyone's shuffling all yeah. over town. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, I watched that the other day. Yeah, so that specific move gave me like the worst concussions of my life and like short-term memory loss. And How many times oh did you do God. it? God, I've done it probably as much as head the head shit. Oh yeah. shit! But that one I had to do like because it was in so many shows, and then sometimes the uh, the stages wouldn't be ideal. Like, cause since oh, that was in that song, every time LMF would perform that song, and that part comes up, I would have to, you know, do that. And, and when you do it, is it one of those like while you're mid dancing, you're like, oh fuck, fuck, here comes the thing I have to do. It was for a little bit, yeah, cause you, oh, cause the more God. you, you know, the, you just become autopilot. So like the more you do the same show over and over, things like that are not gonna you're give you adrenaline name, anymore. Yeah. Your dancing yeah. name should have been collateral damage. <laughs> There was a time in, when the speak there was like a stage that was so narrow and the the speaker monitor was so close that I got claustrophobic and the worst thing you can do when you fall back like that is to not put your head forward at the right minute because if you or moment because if you don't you hit the back oh. 
and then uh, that's where you can really like shake your whole fucking that's brain. Lazy. And I've had like whole like entire 24 hour periods where I had no. Uh, I had short-term memory loss. Like I would just keep repeating myself because I couldn't fucking like a old lady with Alzheimer's and shit. Yeah. Holy shit. How many concussions have you had? Do you think? I've had five. Five that were serious like that. We should be called concussion boys. Concussion <laughs> instead of Locked careful boys. Concussion boys. Yeah. Well, maybe that's why we should be called like careful boys. Careful. You gotta hey, careful too. your mind now, bro. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's a that's why I kind of stopped doing crazy shit like that because. That's why we call this shit sacrificial style. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. After a while, I started to have the same effect as if I did get a concussion, but I wasn't doing shit. I would just be sitting there, and then I would just go, oh, fuck, like I could feel it trigger. Oh, and then for, for at least 24 hours, I you have no up. memory of what the fuck's happening. When you go to the, Jesus, when you go to the doctor, you, he's like, yeah, so what are you doing? He's like, yeah, I, I, I jump on my head. <laughs> Every, every single day. Five times it's a day. It's funny because they'll ask you that question whether you're checking your head or your dick. Like, they're gonna go, what do you do? And <laughs> they connect it to that somehow. Jesus. But yeah, that's the freaking, uh, when I did get a CAT scan, they looked at the back of my skull and they said there's a calcium deposit that makes it look like I'm wearing a knee pad on the back. Holy shit. And I guess it's from like hitting it that it like gets thicker. You know, do you I, have one up here too from like head spins? And stuff? No, I don't have one of those. Isn't that, isn't that on your elbow though? Yeah, I have I have them both in my elbows. Cause you land on them too all the time. That was way like ten years before. He I also always, does fucking crazy. I would always spinning spin, like, on, on his elbow. And then I got a what's it called? It would, get, it would get swollen like this big. And then because I didn't want you know I didn't have any insurance or money or anything to fix it, I would just hide it. I would wrap it up and I would watch TV that night like this for hours until it like goes down. Oh my and God. then a year later, I got in a car accident where they were like um, trying to draw blood, and then they pulled out the, it was all white in the syringe. Oh my what? God. Yeah. And we're like, this guy's a white walker. It was. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Is that puss or? Yeah, it's like, it's oh. the buildup from like all of the, I guess like, cause the doctor just was like, did you tear your ligaments at some point? Because oh. there's a lot of stuff in there and we can't get the blood. Like they tried multiple times and it was Holy just white shit. shit, white shit over oh and over. And then, um, and then because they did that, the guy was, the doctor was like, oh, it's probably gonna heal weird now. Uh, you're probably gonna have like a shell type calcium redeposit, and then since then, like literally, like I've n I have like no feeling on the tip of my elbow. So you're strong. You can just elbow the fuck out of people. Yeah, dude, you're a superhero. You should do Muay Thai, dude. Yeah. yeah. This you is just what I was. Like, this is what I was trying to explain to Silent Mike when I was like, dancers are athletes, but he wasn't. Fucking <laughs> Uh, so we've reached the 12 minute and 58 second mark, which is the part of the show where we like to take it down a little bit and get emotional. I like to open it up and get emotional now and get real. Really, what happens for hot seat? Yeah, 12:58. Uh, always 12:58. Okay. Yeah. We're not talking about break dancing no more, and they call it that because obviously you break your body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, can you tell us about a part of your uh, a time in your life when you struggled personally and you, how you persevered? Yeah, um, <laughs> it's like a job interview question right there, bro. The only, the only thing I think, of course, like with most people, is like when something challenges you uh, and it gives you an identity crisis. And that was when I tore my uh, ACL on my knee live on stage during a concert. Oh my uh, god! Was it an LMFAO concert? Yeah, it's all on footage too in slow mo. How you like screaming and you're and you're holding onto your knee like was this? it like party rocking was, in the <laughs> And then you fell down. <laughs> I wish it was that fucking oh. cool. But there was a, there, I was subbing basically because Steve was, uh, Steve Tarada is the flips guy in our team, oh. and he wasn't on this tour. That yeah, was, so oh we would shit. do this thing where a guy would do a backflip and someone on the side would just shove him in the air and then the backflip would go sideways oh, over that. two people. Yeah. And I'm not normally the guy that does that, but I had to just be the guy. I was kind of like the next person that could do it, and my legs are just not. Uh, for that so after every show like it would just kind of like wear away yeah because when you're landing lateral your uh so your knees pressure, is doing yeah. this yeah. and so uh, every time you did do it you can feel it like, i oh feel God. it getting a little loose Shit. yeah and then uh by the t i think it was like maybe the ninth or tenth show uh i did it and then right when i, la I landed it but you just see my knee totally like Whoa. do this Ooh. and come back and then you can show the video if you want. <laughs> and then um, and then I stand okay. there, and it's at the last fucking pose. Yeah. So I have to just hold it. Stuck it. Yeah, land it, hold it. With just tears coming down. Where you're going, ah! And then everyone in the audience don't know. They're like, oh my god, that's fucking amazing! That second one, yeah. You could see my face, like, I knew that I fucked it up. Like, 100%. Who zoomed in on your face? Oh, it's our camera. 
Trevor dude that's like our homie. Did he, did he know? Yeah, he knew. Did I, you feel things like snap? Because sometimes oh. a tendon will like, will like a vote. Even as noisy as it was, yeah. I could hear it clearly. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Y'all got some joggers on too. Yeah, it must be one of those things where you like something like that happens in your body and it just like echoes into your like, because I yeah. heard it so loud. Yeah. And then I was just standing there going like, oh. And then I still had to come back out and like play because I also did keyboards. So I didn't think it was anything. Renaissance, I was just like, man. Dude, you do everything. Yeah, so I, I became oh. just full time keyboardist for the tour after that happened. Like I couldn't dance anymore. And that was the biggest, like, I think the only time ever in life I was like really. You're like, I'm meant for dance, not for this keyboard yeah. bullshit. I'm supposed to be a flip pusher. Because <laughs> <laughs> I never had one injury until that. Like everything's, oh. everything that's happened to me has been comical, but like that was like a real fucking injury, like yeah. ACL wow. tear. Was that the biggest injury you've like had in your whole career? I would say, yeah. It's a bit most debilitating because I couldn't dance for almost a year. How was rehab on that? Uh, it sucks because um, that specific knee was, I had stretched it over the course of so many years in order to like do flexible tricks. I used to be able to put this foot on that side of my head. What yeah, the I've seen you fuck? do that. That's crazy. Yeah, and now I can I can barely even hold it this far. So, when, but it used to go all the way over here. So when your identity wow. is this like dancing guy that's flexible and all that stuff, and you can't do the things that you work so hard to do, how did that affect you? I just didn't know. I was just like, you what, know what to do. What am I then? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you're, you're a musician now. At least yeah, you have that yeah. to fall back on. That was nice, but like everybody's fallback plan, you never want to actually fall back into it. Like you'd actually, rather make it feel like I decided to do it and not like you're forced there or falling back onto my fallback. Like kind of fucking sucks. Did you think in that moment like I'm never gonna dance again? Guilty feet of God, no. <laughs> Fuck, I'm sorry. It's, it was too easy. I di I didn't. I just I knew that like I think the worst part is that we were in the middle of a tour. So it's like if you get hurt and you can't do something like okay, you can't go to rehearsal, you can't do stuff. But like we were in the middle of like a big big contract. So it was like. I felt like I was also abandoning like yeah, my responsibility Steve, of you know. Were you like yeah. fucking Steve? <laughs> no, but Steve was fucked up too because that around that same time was when he broke his neck and like oh broke two God. vertebrae on the movie he did. You guys are real Jesus. athletes. There's not very many dancers I think that are real athletes, but you guys definitely are yeah. the real ones. Yeah. Well, that's that's yeah. also a part that's hard because like a point of pride <laughs> of my identity was that I was like unbreakable. Yeah. You know, like. Like, my, I love that rep, you know, of like, yeah. oh, this dude never gets hurt. So, like, when that happened, like, even though, like, to some people saying it, it's kind of like a funny thing, but to, I used to really, like, since I was a kid, had that reputation, even in school, of like, yo, this dude had, feels no pain, he just can jump off this shit and die, like, he's, he's so <laughs> He could cool. die. Yeah, like, uh, <laughs> it was well, like, you're never like, injured, <laughs> right? You're never scared. Yeah, until you feel the pain and you don't want to go through it again. And then that's just where it was like a reality check, like, bro, you can fucking, no matter how much you work out or do anything, you're not gonna make your tendons buffer. You know, like, you're not gonna make your ACL, like, you know, it's just gonna Mark stay up. exactly what it is. Yeah. But for all your like dances that you've done and all the crazy shit you've done, the fact that you've only had like a handful of fucking concussions and, and ACL tear, that's not that's not bad. Yeah, it's not that's I mean it's not too shabby, but yeah, definitely that was the one period where like when you're forced to just sit out and then watch everybody else like go off and do their thing and you're just like but at least you 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 won so much, like you did so much. Like this guy came in second place. Like it's like a oh, fucking fuck, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's just a, oh, it's just a different thing. Like you can step away from dancing and be like, yeah, I fucking did it. You know what I mean? Like that's I true. Cause you even have a dope ass music fallback. Like what yeah. does Anthony got? Dude, I don't know. JK Eagles or something. Yeah. He's got fuck. this. Yeah. yeah. God. That shirt's pretty uh, fucking cool. Is that new? I, I just love seeing the back of his head whenever you're talking. To him. <laughs> 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 like, I can't see his face, but I fucking know. All right. Uh, last question. Oh, we're still going. Yeah, last question. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Anthony's about to turn this no. camera off. <laughs> and we'll turn off the heat a little bit, because I don't think we're that hot on you. That's true. Who is the shadiest dancer you know? <laughs> shadiest <laughs> motherfucker. Shadiest yeah, like you would be like, fuck crew. this motherfucker. Yeah. yeah, the crew, the whole crew. This was yeah. the wild, wild west. This dancer would be in the wanted poster. Yeah. Like, this. like, I don't even know this dude, but if you don't like him, I'll fucking, I'll jump him with you, dude. Let's There's a bounty on his yeah. head. Who doesn't dance by the rules? Exactly. <laughs> I don't, I I don't even know. Who's, who's the Nancy Kerrigan of dance? Yeah, who's the biggest offender of dance? Oh, there's Man, a couple of them. it's hard to fucking say. Nancy I Kerrigan was really nice. Oh, who's the other? Who does Margot oh, yeah, Robbie yeah, play? Yeah, yeah, Tanya Harding? Tanya, Tanya Harding. Harding. Who's the Tanya? Nancy I was like, wait a minute. She was the good one, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who gets their fucking place yeah. now? In dance? Damn. I don't know. I guess like... There's just a couple of those people that fucking got called out for the Me Too shit last year. Oh. Oh, 
yeah. like, like predators. But that's, I wasn't in that. People that yeah. are in like mentor roles yeah, and stuff yeah. like that in studios or dance team captains or leaders that like use their power plays and stuff like that as like the choreographers or directors of their teams to manipulate. Let's, like, let's, let's, have, let's list them up, man. Let's Come on, dude. That's, that's the hard part is that like, I don't know, man. Like until like I'm a victim of, I, I've never I, actually been a victim of any malicious dance related yeah, shit, no. but I've heard of it and seen it. Uh, so I can't, I don't know, I can't even really speak on Ryan's that also a nice guy in our scene in the community. Everybody loves him. Yeah, who doesn't like Ryan? <laughs> I've heard though? of like, yeah, it's, I'm usually the one that's probably people don't like for something I did. <laughs> You never see people like steal someone else's dancing shoes or something. Oh, like they tie, do, or no, before before an intense competition, they tie their shoot the other team's shoelaces together. Oh fuck, yeah. dude! Yeah, That's yeah, a disaster. That one sucks. Are you kidding me, dude? That one what the fuck? Sabotage. Or like fart in someone's mask. <laughs> and they have to put it on. That's some shit that would happen within the crew to member to member. Yeah, backstabbers, dude. Backstabbers. I can't. I mean, I just I don't think. There's. It's like more of like maybe there's been organizers or people that are. Um, that you work for in dance, that would be <laughs> fucked up, but like, dancer to dancer, I don't know if any, like, unless you do, and I'm forgetting This somebody. isn't my hot seat, dog. I just oh, don't, I don't have experiences like that with uh, other dancers, other than like, uh, I don't know, people that like, didn't like Quest for some reason. Was there like a 9-11 of dance? God damn. Where everyone's <laughs> in the dance community is like, yeah, man, that shit. Oh, that shit. Oh, oh fuck. Yeah, that changed like, everything. I remember where I was. Yeah, and, like, when Pop fucking Finding like, Neverland came out. Oh, and everyone who started dancing because of Michael Jackson just like oh, stayed silent for a second. Yeah, they didn't know how to feel. Right? Oh, right, because like that was very dance dancer based community. Well, he danced because like, of Cypress College. Yeah, but yeah. everyone. Cypress College was my Michael Jackson. Get the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs>